Right, here's my patch for my second assignment to do with Max MSP and Jitter. It's a vid, uh, VJ loop machine. Um, right, the way you load videos in is you click the big red load button and it will come up with a folder. And this is one like I've already got sorted out. And load it up again on both. So you've got two sets of screens that you, so you can move between the videos. Right, to select some things, you just click the random one, turn them on. And it will show you in these two boxes, these two boxes here, what's happening on each video screen. You can fade between the two videos using the scroller thing up here. And set the time of how quickly you want it to fade between the two videos. See that's... Mm -hmm. Right, you also notice there's a screen at the back here. That would be the projection screen. To change the size, you just click on on these, make it bigger and smaller. Right. right, for the old things I've got loads of different effects, so there's hue mode which you, do, as you can see changes the colour of the hue, feedback mode which is basically a way of blowing it or feeding, sending it back into itself. Quite cool effects. There's a frame difference mode which shows what's happening in a different um, what happens with the movement. You can adjust all the different color levels. There's a sprinkle mode um, to the range up a bit. And then the probability, you can see it's starting to sprinkle. It's color output mode, you scroll along this wheel and it'll change the amount output mode which is displayed here. You can also select the one you like. Right. Scissors mode, you can use it to cut up the different things. You can see the different sides are choosing different places. Right, that's an eclipse mode. And you can have a double eclipse, quite a cool effect. And obviously, you can save it, record different sections of it. <laughs> Alright, that's a rotor mode, which you can obviously zoom zoom into the piece. You can change the offsets. Um, also, there's an audio mode, which will choose a bit of music. What you can actually do is by clicking the automate song thing once you start, so the music's starting. You can see like, uh, now that the songs actually began, because I'll click the colour mode on, it's moving along, it's moving the motion blur as well. You can see along here, so when you turn it on, it's a lot more effective. Sprinkle mode, you can see it's changing like that, turn it on. I just got used to so it's following the beat of the song, colour levels, it's the same sort of thing. There's the eclipse. Same sort of thing again. Right, obviously you can set the things, pressing these sort of buttons. And, yep, to make a user uh, the ability for people to customize it how you like, I've actually got an assign keys section. For example, as it says up here, click on the mode that you wish to assign to a key on the keyboard, press the key you wish to assign it to. We click the mode to save the key assignment. The key mode is assigned to displayed on the left of the mode section. So basically whatever key is along here, that will activate the different things. Right, the save video as you can see up here, if you wanted to select that, I'll click on that and I've got to press K. As you can see K there, you saw the thing move across. I'll deselect that, and now when I'm pressing K it will jump between the different 
uh, two different videos. It does the whole way along. You can activate scissors mode here. When it activated with R, like as you press R, you can turn it on and off. I've got all of these toggles activated by this assigned key mode. Right. Thank you for watching. Hope you understand how to use the software.